Hello students, welcome. In this video, I would like to discuss about how to crack NEET examination in one year. This is exclusively for those students who have already given one attempt or two attempts, whatever it is, but they really want to give one more attempt by dropping an year. We call them as droppers or repeaters or long-term batch. For that particular students, I want to give you a general briefing, certain points I want to discuss. Let's get into it. So if you look at uh, all over India, right? What is the most respected job that you have? If I list down top 10 respected jobs, you can also do a research on Google. Check it, these are the jobs that we have. You look at the number one most respected job is doctors. Doctor is very, very respected. He is considered, he or she is considered to be carbon copy of or photocopy of God uh, himself or herself. So very, very important. Wherever you go, you go to desert, you go to airport also, there's a respect for you. But wherever you go, there is definitely, wherever people are there, you will have respect for you. Even terrorists will respect you if you are captured by terrorists. So that's why it is very respected. And of course, it's worth giving that kind of effort also to crack into um, this neat examination. And not just the respect, even if you look at the pay package, especially not in India, of course, all over the world, if you look at it, top high paying jobs in the world if you look at it it's very surprising for me because you see the first to five jobs that came up were related to medicine surgeon physician orthodontist psychiatrist general physician and all that so even pay also you get in the doctor's profession so not just the respect pay both are there that's why you need to work really hard. If you really want to go for it, go for it. That doesn't mean that everybody can try it because the kind of effort that is required, the kind of dedication that you require is enormous. Only those who have that burning desire and passion can do that. But there is a definitely rewards for it that I wanted to mention it. So now that we understand that NEAT is very good because if you crack it and you become a doctor successful, there's a lot of respect and also good payment, right? How do you crack NEET examination? If you look at NEET examination, right, you'll have to solve 180 questions in 180 minutes. So very fast you have to do it. Not only that, there is negative marking also, meaning if you are doing mistake, you are going to be penalized. So the most important thing is speed and accuracy. Speed and accuracy is very, very important. So if you want to improve speed and accuracy, just by knowing the knowledge, listening to classes. Many students I know, they listen to YouTube lectures. Even in the final phase also, they keep listening to classes, one shot videos and all that, they look at it. By just listening to classes, you acquire knowledge, but knowledge alone will not be enough to go for that speed and accuracy. You need to have proper memory. And of course, there are certain techniques that you need to work on with. You need to have a lot of practice and you definitely require a good mentor and a guide whether it is offline and online, that depends on you because it matters a lot. Uh, so you require my, uh, that guidance, right? Without that, throughout one year, this is very hard working, right? One day you can maintain your focus. One week you can maintain focus. But one year, if you want to have that kind of dedicated effort, right? Somebody has to be there continuously monitoring and also guiding you. That's very, very essential. So just knowing to the classes alone will not be enough. I just wanted to mention that to you. So how to allot time? So knowing that you have these kind of requirements, how do you allot your time? This is what you are supposed to do. You need to listen to lectures. You need to understand them with proper focus. You need to listen to the lectures. Just by listening to lectures will not be enough, but that is foundation. Don't uh, skip the lectures. If you uh, leave the lectures, right? Same thing if you want to cover yourself, it takes enormous amount of time. If you are a smart person, you want to minimum minimize the time in acquiring the knowledge make sure that you get the maximum benefit out of lectures and after that you need to practice a lot but practicing once will not be enough again you will have to do revision also i would say it is one third one third one third out of entire time that you have here you need to spend at least one third of the time for practice and one third of the time for the revision program only then you'll be able to get good score because it's not just about knowing but knowing it perfectly that the moment you open the question paper, just like that, you will have to solve it. No need to think about it. That kind of a pro kind of mentality you are supposed to have here. So practice and revision is also important. Please remember, lectures is only one third. That is faculty. But remaining two thirds is dependent on your 
uh, internal drive. You have to be very good at it and you need to continuously push for yourself so that you will get the success out of it. So that is very essential. What is the secret to success? It's not actually a secret. It is everybody's knowing. Just that it's very tough to maintain that kind of focus. But let us know what are the things. Basically, these are the things you are supposed to know. It, right? So completing the syllabus by end of December at any cost is the most important aspect. Some students, they keep on reading, learning, watching the lectures, even in the month of April also. That's not good at all. You have to complete the syllabus by end of December at any cost. If you are able to do it earlier, definitely it is good, but you can't take it beyond that. So two year syllabus, you will have to complete by end of December. That is the first thing. If you are not able to do that, entire program will be wasted. I would suggest don't take a drop. It's waste of your time and waste of your money. You make sure that you complete your syllabus at the worst case scenario by end of December. That is very important. After that, you need to practice. You don't have to practice too many books, but practice one book or two books, but over and over again. Of course, PYQs, you have to practice. All right. But PYQs, practice in meaning not just memorizing, understanding the idea this year, right? Uh, last year also, last couple of years, you observed. PYQs questions will not come directly, but they are models. The indirect way of asking questions, definitely they'll come. NCRT textbook, you will have to prepare. And also the module that is given by your coaching institute is very essential. And you need to have a time for revision. In our institute, we give two revisions. We generally complete the syllabus by December. And then January, February, we'll have one revision. And then March and April, we'll have the second revision. Two revisions is very much essential and comfortable revision, not a hurry burry revision. So have experienced teachers and good mentors to guide you because there is vast amount of syllabus, vast amount of quantity available. If you open any website, you will get millions of millions of questions available there, right? So if you start solving every question, you will not be able to complete the syllabus. So this, you need to prepare very smartly for that. You require experienced teachers and all who are going to guide you. That is also very essential here. Yeah. How to choose coursing? This is one important aspect. Nowadays, now that because there are a lot of online, offline, right? There are so many other options available for the students, right? It's definitely there. What to do? Online coaching, offline coaching, which is better? Generally, students will have it. I'm going to have a separate video about that, online versus offline. But in general, you need to know one point here. Are you self-motivated? Are you self-driven? First ask that question. And also, can you afford, right? Is it affordability a problem there? If you are thinking that you are not that much self-motivated, you are not confident about yourself when mobile phone or tab is in front of you, you can be controlled to use it only for academic purpose. And also you can afford to go for a higher fees, right? I would recommend that you go for offline. Otherwise, I, online is very good. Of course, student to student, it changes. There are some people who would like to prepare on their own. Of course, there are positives and negatives, pros and cons in both the ways. But one single thumb rule is, if you think that you are not self-motivated or self-driven, not self-disciplined, and also if you are able to afford, best thing is that you need to go for offline. Because opportunity cost also, if you look at it, not just the amount of money you pay. One year you're wasting your, let's say you're spending your time, that is also going to have a cost, inherent cost. That also you need to count about it. The second thing is about the advertisements. You know, you know nowadays, uh, this advertisement have become really very aggressive. All the top universities, institutes, coaching centers that are available, right? All over the India, uh, you, they keep uh, promoting like anything through social media and various platforms. They talk about top rankers. For example, this year, they are saying that every coaching institute, they are saying about 78 people from their institute getting one 720 out of 720. That way, if you count right, nearly 100 students are getting 720 out of 720. But in reality, right, never ever we got 720 out of 720 in one year by three to four members, more than three to four members. That too, this year paper is tough. Compared to last two, three years, paper is definitely tough. It is not easy. So getting 720 is not easy. That too, so many institutes are proposing like that. One more thing, they have their own key. So they say, according to our key, they say that, which means that if one key is correct, meaning all other institute keys are wrong. So that is also one more thing. Why are they desperate? Because of competition, right? Because of the competition, now that students are, students are, it's good for students because when you have so much of competition about the institutes, right? You have good choice. That is one way good for the students. But for the institute point of view, they are so desperate, right? They want to get their enrollments. 
so they can't wait until the results come so they want to get the students now only because they are starting their batches by probably end of this may and so on so in order to attract the students they are promoting this kind of thing so you got to be very careful even after getting the top ranks also you know top rankers are like celebrities you see very tv ads you see that like skincare tv ads or hair oils tv ads for example skincare tv ad you take but they show one beautiful heroine and all that so she will wear that and all because of that she looks beautiful so thinking that if i also use it i will also become beautiful you will be full you will be losing your money the same thing happens here also the top rankers right they are genius they are probably working hard so much for so many years and their inher inherent talent is also there even if they don't go to any coaching also they will be able to get decent rank not because of the institute right so please don't take their top rankers if top rankers are getting in the ranks there meaning everybody will get benefit out of it that doesn't uh, happen so every student is different different teachers are there there are some very good teachers but those may be too much for us right for the student teacher matching is also very very important it's not that top ranking teachers will be able to teach you so well you will be able to understand that that's also not necessary what is more important for neat examination is subject wise not like high it level kind of subject is required here care and that passion for the student to um, take care of that is very important for the teachers so you please look at it that is very very important for you and of course personal care individual mentoring i was talking about learning atmosphere is very important if you don't have a good learning atmosphere for example in one session you have 100 200 students online classes you have so many students there is no um, contact there right personal contact and also there is no follow up also that is another thing there are some coaching centers where they have 100 students in one class that kind of environment will not be useful for you where you have limited strength where the personal attention can be given where the lecturer can recognize you recognize your problem individually they can give individual care to you that kind of institute if you can choose that is better because there are choices you don't have to blindly go with one particular institute please look for that you have time but definitely you need to choose according to that so um, again our results if you see right of course there are some institute they say that i have got they've got 70% results 60% results and all that top rankers 720 out of 720 we don't get we don't get that kind of students we cannot maintain that kind of students because that is related to finances so that i don't want to discuss about it whoever comes to us they are normal students average students they come to us with a um, reasonable uh, a very good determination but reasonable uh, uh, whatever academic background with that we do really well for our students we generally get around this much 46% of the uh, success rate meaning almost 50% of the students get into government or um, a category seats that is a very good result if you look at as a whole because as a whole 25 lakh members right out of that only 50 to 60000 members get seat so meaning very less percentage as a whole if you look at it in that context if you look at even big institutes also will have very low success rate because they have big numbers they cannot get out everybody that's not possible so when you have smaller institutes where they have a good track record good lecturers where the lecturer uh, themselves are management and they have the passion they are running the institute with the passion not with the business mindset only and uh, there you have limited strength they want to prove themselves that's where you get the maximum benefit if you are willing to go for it that's my um, um, understanding so if you wish to look for our uh, program our program highlights i'll explain to you expert faculty in hyderabad we are positioned so in hyderabad i'm sure you will get the best faculty from our institute you can compare with any institute definitely they are almost like 20 years of experience they have taught single digit rankers and also various people like that okay and then uh, here you see year plan will be given to you in the beginning itself exactly as per the plan the program will go no deviations at all there will be no uh, variation at all as it is it has to go that's why we have meticulously planned some institute they what they do is right if the syllabus is not completed they'll revise the plan and that will not work out uh, you will not be having a proper discipline that discipline is required even for the faculty also so then uh, we have basic mathematics especially in physics what happens is right uh, basic mathematics very very important we give lot of importance for basic mathematics because uh, without basic mathematics you will not be able to complete numericals without uh, physics a decent score you will not get a decent score as a whole so we give special attention to that and you can't develop basic mathematics just in one week or something like that some youtubers say i'll give one week class and your basic math will be completed that never possible they will teach you will understand it you will say oh ho oh, yeah right but you will not get the 
benefit out of it. You need to have a continuous practice over it. So there is a parallel track that will be going on to take care of that as well. So definitely you will get a lot of improvement in physics. We give a lot of emphasis on that also. And then we have daily concept reviews. Whatever you start today, you will get a question tomorrow, examination tomorrow on basic concept. Because of that continuous review, right? You'll be able to remember because neat examination is mostly memory based. Memorizing and revising is very, very important for us. And you will get a mentorship from every for every student. Individual mentorship is very essential. So you would know personally how you are uh, going forward. So that way the personal care will be taken care of. And the revision plan will be very essential. I know for long-term students or droppers match, right? Revision is utmost important. Syllabus completion is yes, it is required. If revision is not done properly, that that time you will see that everything is again blank space. You will not remember anything. So revision is given a lot of importance and so much of sufficient amount of time is given so that you will be able to complete the entire syllabus twice. Right? That is our uh, plan here. Then, uh, of course, we started our admission process. We are planning to start our batch in the month of June, first week only. Probably June 2nd is a good day. Sunday it is coming. So, uh, so I thought uh, probably we'll start with an auspicious time also. So if you are interested, you can join us. Of course, you can attend our demo classes. You don't have to pay anything without uh, listening to us also. Demo classes you can attend. Probably three days you can attend. You can come with the luggage and jo join us. We have a residential accommodation also here. So you can comfortably sit here, understand it. Only if you feel that you will get the benefit out of the program, you can join, um, think about joining up. Okay. So after that, you know, this is very important. Generally, students, what they do, right? Especially who is going for the dropper, they will have a lot of confusion. What to do? Should I drop or not to drop? And that's a very big problem. What happens now, June 15th or something like that, you will get the results. You will say, I'll wait until the results come. So that gone. 20 days are gone, 20, 30 days are gone. Results will come. Then you will say, again, until round one counseling, I will wait and after that, I will take a decision. Round one is gone. Round two again, round three again, mop up round. Then you will not get anything. Then you want to come for the division program. But you know, by the time mop up round is completed, it will be in the month of September or something like that. But we need to complete uh, syllabus by December. That means September, October, November, December, only four months, you will have to complete the entire two-year syllabus. That will be a very big problem. Mm -hmm. So you don't have one year here. Please remember, it is not one year preparation. It is only seven months preparation, assuming that you start from June only. June to December, we have to complete the entire syllabus. Two-year syllabus completing in seven months itself is a very big task. If you delay it again, it's going to be a very big problem. Please, if you really want to take one-year drop, make sure that you join in the month of June. If you are not joining in the month of June, you will not get, get the benefit out of this program. Wherever you join, better you don't drop only. You take some other options there. If you have decided to go for drop, this is what you have. Indecision is worse. Indecision is really worse, especially in your particular case. Please take a decision and stand by it. You will take this dropper's match, not because of this, 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 because you want to take it. Just take a decision. And then your subconscious mind will give you reasons. You don't have to give reasons. Decision is supposed to be taken by you. And please make sure that you take that decision. Thank you very much uh, for uh, listening to us. All right. So I hope you take a proper decision. I want to create one more video. Who will take about that, right? Whether I should go for repeater's batch or not. I just wanted to explain that also. So if you wish to contact us, this is what you have the number there. So probably you can uh, contact with us and try to get the more information. Okay, with that, I'll conclude here. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll uh, see you again the next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.